Clean Professionals Liability, we've been attending NACA really from the start. Well, I'm starting out, so I'm interested in any avenue. Uh, we've been coming to NACA uh, for as long as I've been at IAS, but this, this history goes back uh, over a decade. NACA seems to be a great place not only for my company to meet fellow adjusters that might be looking for cat loss work or might even be looking for work in Montana or Wyoming. Uh, it's also a great resource for me to build clients. I'm like everybody else, I just need to go to work. <laughs> we love coming to NACA because it's really an opportunity to see some old colleagues and old friends, um, but it's also nice because you see a lot of people that are new to the industry. IS is here at NACA because we believe in the mission of this organization. Uh, my first time, new adjuster. I attended to NACA because Matt begged me to over and over and over and said this is the place to come if you want to meet people in person and let them get to know you, which in our industry, we know it's not about who you know, it's about who you're getting to know. So NACA is great for that. So this is the first year we've been to NACA. We decided to, we wanted to come and kind of be able to do something we haven't done all year. We haven't been able to see people face to face and get to know a lot of these new adjusters. That's what the best part about NACA I think has been for us. The only way that we succeed as an IA firm, if we're finding those adjusters who aspire to, to deliver great service, we can develop them to, to be the right partners with our with our carriers. Just watching the Adjuster TV and how important it was to do the networking side, it seemed like it would be a a win-win to go into one place and hit 20, 30, 40 good connections rather than trying to do that through the phone or showing up at somebody's office around the country.